Hi, I'm Carl Taylor from Visual Education and welcome back to our series of videos explaining all different types of studio lighting modifiers. This week, we're looking at projection attachments. So, what are projection attachments? Well, the word projection is key. There is a lens in the end of an accessory which fits over a studio light and that lens allows you to project an image of something that's a little bit uh, behind the lens but in front of the studio light itself. And in this case, it's a series of adjustable blades that you can see I'm moving here so I can make very precise shapes of light, triangular, rectangle, small slithers for lighting labels or bottles or very specific parts of products. And then I can choose to defocus that light to create a soft, very specific patch of light. Can use it on a model, across the face, on the eyes, or just a very specific portion of a subject of a product. Or I can make that area very sharp if I needed, for example, just to light the very side of uh, a cosmetic product, for example, um, or defocus it. So this is a projection attachment here that fits onto this particular studio light. Moving along over to here, I'll come back to this one in a second. This is a Godox light, and Godox have a projection attachment here. And this one utilizes a Canon fit 50 millimeter lens to allow you to project the light. Now this one has a gobo inside of it. Now what is a gobo? Well a gobo is a predetermined pattern. So this one you can see has got a metal plate with a cutout pattern. And there's many of these gobos available in different patterns we're going to look at in a second. And you insert the gobo into the projection attachment and then it projects an image of that gobo onto your subject and then you can defocus that image so for example you could use this to emulate the feeling of dappled light through trees etc or you can sharpen it up uh, to create something else you can create this feeling of window blinds or a window frame etc etc now this particular Godox projection attachment is just the one for the Gobo, but they do do one with blades as well, where you can adjust to make slithers of light and rectangles and shapes. The downside of this one I find is that, as you can see, the projection is just nowhere near as bright uh, as what we're getting here. So it's a, a lot more difficult to work with. You need to work in a more darkened studio. If you want maximum power, I mean, even obviously the Pico light is relatively, uh, you know, less bright than this one, but significantly brighter than the Godox. But if you want maximum power, we've got to go to one of the big heavy duty projection attachments. This is the Pulso Spot 4, which has got a huge projection lens here. And then you can see I've got my blades here that I can work in to create the different shapes that I want to create and as you can see there and then I can sharpen that up or I can defocus that and just like the Godox one I can use gobos uh, such as a window, chateau windows in the Pulso Spot 4 or dappled light and here's some of the gobos in the range for the uh, smaller Godox projection attachment as well. So a number of options for gobos that can be inserted into the lights. You can even insert actual transparency slides, like an image of something. So if you wanted to project an image, you can do that as well. But the main purpose for these lights, I would say, is actually using them with the blades and creating a concentrated, very specific area of light so that you can create, look at this, I can create just like a tiny slither that's just like less than a centimeter or a centimeter square and I can then control that patch of light defocus it and this is incredibly useful for lighting product labels or little details on a model's face or very specific parts of an area of a product that you want to bring to life so projection attachments are a really 
unique lighting accessory, a lighting modifier that comes into its own in fashion photography, especially in product photography. They come, as you can see here, in a range of sizes and powers. And for example, with the big Pulso Spot 4, it also comes with its own Fresnel lens. And we've already covered what Fresnel lenses do in an earlier video if you want to check that out. Let's take a look just quickly in our lighting comparison app tool. So here on visualeducation.com, I've got our lighting comparison app that allows you to compare all different types of lighting modifiers against each other, one image on the left, one image on the right, and then you can choose which modifier you want to compare against another one so that you can figure out what they do. Here I've just got a bare bulb studio light on the left on this full length model. You can see the strong sharp shadow, light bouncing around the studio, which is giving us that you know, um, uh, sharp light, but the shadows aren't too dense because of the light reflecting off the white studio walls. And then on the right here is the Pulso Spot 4 with one of these gobos set into the Pulso Spot 4 to give me an image of a chateau window being projected onto the model. If we wanted to go very much more precise, then we could go to um, one of the Pico projection lights there. You can see I've created a very, very thin slither of light with uh, the Pico projection mask uh, there. And there it is with no fill light whatsoever. So you can really control this hugely. Let's just zoom in on that a second and zoom in on both. So you can really control these super, super defined areas of light that you want to work with. That one has got the um, fill light with it as well. So you can see the, uh, the results there. And then um, let's just go to headshots only. And there you can see I've put a slither of light across the model's face and defocused it. There it is in the sharp focus position and there it is in the defocus position. So it gives you a great deal of creative control when you're using these projection attachment accessories as a lighting modifier. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and that maybe you learned something new. If you did, then please click the subscribe or give us a like. And we look forward to seeing you in one of our future lighting modifier series videos.